churches shut down and pastors arrested. A wave of Christian persecution is underway, only this time it's not in China, but Canada. Yes, America's northern neighbor. It's happening mostly in Alberta and Ontario, all in the name of public safety and health. It's enough to make les Québécois shout, mon Dieu. On May 14th, police interrupted praise and worship at the Mennonite Church of God in Elmer, Ontario. Congregants sang, On Christ the Rock I Stand. Afterwards, they exited peacefully, and police locked the building. The church faces more than $100,000 in fines and legal fees. And in Calgary, freed on bond this week, Pastor Archer Pulowski of Fortress Adelum Church says police mistreated him during his recent arrest and jailing. He insists that he became a political prisoner because he dared to challenge political corruption. He warns others, quote, they're going to come after you. It's just a matter of time. Also in Calgary, Rebel News captured weeping family members on camera just moments before police arrested Pastor Tim Stevens of Fairview Baptist Church. They said his worship service did not comply with public COVID-19 health orders, including masking, physical distancing, and attendance limits. The mild-mannered pastor responded. The government has obviously uh, turned up the heat on churches, trying to discourage them from gathering together. I think they don't understand that Christians are committed to follow the Lord Jesus Christ regardless of the consequences. Yes, folks, Christians suffer consequences for following their religious convictions. And I'm not here to encourage you to obey or defy government restrictions on church worship. Each church must decide how to respond after much prayer and seeking of God's will. Still, I must ask, why are churches being shut down and pastors arrested if no one's been infected with COVID-19 inside their buildings? For years, persecuted people of all faiths from around the world have sought refuge in Canada. Perhaps no longer. It now seems that Canadians may want to seek refuge in Texas or Florida, where freedom is actually respected, even during a pandemic. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on social media, watch us on the CBN News Channel, and our broadcast affiliates. And until next time, be blessed.